Konnichiwa you sexy bastards, hope everyone is having a great day. I just thought I would do a real quick video on my Nagaho Higo no Kami knives. Just because I really love this knife as far as the blade design goes. If you watch my EDC uh, videos you'll know that I have been carrying this one right here. Every single day, everywhere I go, I've had this knife with me for about 8 months now. And I really love this knife. But this knife cost me over £100. So in the last EDC video that I did. I showed this one. Which is also Nagoho Higunokami. But it was £12. So obviously there's a massive difference between the prices and the two knives. Like I say this one's over £100. Uh, and this one is about £12. So I just thought I'd do a real quick video just to show a little comparison between the two knives. Just to show what you get for the money. So uh, this one right here, like I say, 100 plus pound knife. As far as this one goes, 3 inch long blade. It's blue paper steel. 4 millimeters thick. It's riveted onto a folded brass handle you have the tank stamp and the uh, standard kanji on the handle uh, big steel pin secured with two brass uh, washers or spacers which have a little bit of decoration going on so that's pretty much it as far as this one goes as far as the lower end version goes which is my current ADC you have a two and a half inch blade it's two and a half to three millimeters thick white paper steel and it only comes in this blade shape so you only get that with this one handle material you get either a brass or a steel version I got the steel handle on mine the uh, blade is obviously riveted to the handle, same as the £100 version. The difference on mine is you've got one brass washer, it's just a very boring, plain looking, non-decorated, thin brass washer or spacer there. And on that side, it's a steel washer. So I'm not sure why they've done that, it might have just been how this one's worked out. But uh, I've got brass on that side, steel on that side. A uh, modification that I've had to do with this one. I don't know if you can see it, it's sort of an hourglass shape. Warmed up here and then thins down. Whereas on this one, it's uh, open all the way. So what I've had to do with this one, like I say, I've pinched it. Just so when I close the blade, I don't know if you'll hear it, but uh, that's a very positive click. That's not going anywhere. No matter how hard I shake that, it's not going to open. And it just takes enough for me to want to open it in order to open it, but... Uh, before I pinched it, it was pretty loose and it would open in the pocket. But uh, it's absolutely perfect right now. I can wear this as a pendant or whatever. And it's I've got no worry whatsoever of this opening.
So that's what I've done with that. As far as the retention on the blade opened, again, it's very good. It's not really going to close too much. It closes a lot more than the other one, but uh, like I say, it's a £12 knife. And just trying to make it close now there just closed it takes a lot of effort to make it close enough to cut me if my fingers were in the way there we go so this 12 pound knife as far as the differences go there's not a lot goes in between them really. Uh, blue paper steel, three inches long. Just now I cut myself there. Uh, razor sharp, straight out the box. Uh, folded brass handles. I think it might come in the steel handle as well. But uh, two different blade versions for this one. Four millimeters thick. Very high quality knife. And uh, definitely one of my favorites. As far as the £12 version goes, pretty much the same except you're getting a lesser quality blade steel in the white paper. But uh, it's pretty much the same thing. Comes razor sharp. You only get one style of blade choice in this one. Uh, both handmade in Japan. And... Uh, only difference I've had to do is I've had to pinch the handle right here just to stop this blade from opening a little bit in my pocket. And on the £12 version there is a no tank stamp. Whereas on the £100 pound version you've got your tank stamp right here. Landed holes on both of them, pretty much the same handle. And that's pretty much it really. I wanted to do a better video but uh, I'm crap at making videos even though I've had my YouTube channel since 2010 I still suck at making videos but uh, that's the best I can do really. Just really wanted to do a real quick comparison between the two Higuno Kamis. Again that's the £100 version. That's the uh, £12 version. Uh, £100 version is a jet black and the £12 version is more of a it's advertised as a black on the site but it's more of a gunmetal grey coloration but uh, that's pretty much it just want to real, do a real quick video on the Higo no Kamis that I've got like I say this is one's my favourite I love it but I got this one just as a little, just because I didn't want to really damage this one because of the price. But uh, both handmade in Japan, both awesome knives. I didn't think I would like this blade style. But after using it for the past two weeks, I really love it. Awesome knife, awesome blade style. Very strong knife, not going to close in your hands. And I've just stabbed myself there just stabbed myself there again. <laughs> but uh awesome knife, very safe knife, as long as you're not me. But uh yeah. So I'll end the video now, otherwise I'm just gonna babble on. Those are the Nagaho Higuno Kamis that I've got. Just a real quick comparison between the two. As far as the prices go, recommend both of them if you can't afford a hundred pounds for this one. Highly recommend this one. Don't buy the fakes. There are fakes out there. If you've got a fake and you think it's a real one, the biggest difference, or well, the easiest way to tell is, on the fake ones, they've got a samurai, or an image of a samurai, on this side. Real ones don't have that. They've just got a uh, kanji here. And that's pretty much it. So, 
Very simple, basic knife. Love it. My favourite. Highly recommend it. I'm still crap at making videos, like I say. But uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye. I'll end it now before I ball on too much. That is the Nagohohi Gonokami. Sayonara, and thanks for watching.